Hello strangers, it is Friday the 29th of April and that's a very special day for two people in England uh, and for the life of me I don't know either of their names <laughs> It's a Prince and Kate, that's it, that's all I know Kate and Will, is that right? I feel like such an asshole for not knowing that Oh dear, I slept through it anyway, I woke up at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and was like um, sure something's going on today so yes, I missed the royal wedding at 10 a.m. this morning. And um, this is usually implied this morning. Anywho, point being, I missed the royal wedding, and I don't really care. Uh, yay. Um, so I did post a video to the day, um, and apparently my memory's got so bad that I can't even remember what it was about. I'm about to check. It, don't play it, please. Thank you. Um. I don't know. Probably about what what you guys have missed in the few weeks of me not posting videos. Um, but yeah, I'm back now and stuff. So, yeah. So the only thing I really want to talk about today is... Uh, well, basically I'm going to try and find something really nerdy to talk about. And that is two things. One is Twilight. And although this is quite an old subject. And two is... Something which is down here, which I'm gonna have to go and get. Excuse me a moment. I have them back now. Uh, it's these two. Two very nerdy, kind of Dungeons and Dragons style books uh, about fantasy adventures that were made in England in the nine, late 80s by two really famous nerds, basically. <laughs> made by Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. And if you don't know who they are, they made um, Games Workshop. Hang on. Mark, who made basically invented Warcraft, and that not Warcraft, Warhammer. Don't know where Warcraft came from. Warhammer, and that's really popular now. So you know, there's that stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm mentioning them mainly because I've recently discovered that they're not only incredibly rare but incredibly expensive. They're not being republished, and the only copy of the third book which I don't have that I could find was 120 quid, which I'm not paying for. <laughs> I cannot afford this. Um, also, I'm doing a video for Nearly Retro on those, so I thought I'd let you guys know about that. Um, the other thing I mentioned mention about Twilight, um, no one seems to be talking about it too much these days, which is good, I suppose, because I'm not, like I said, not a huge fan of it. But um, I recently watched a video by Doug Walker, who is that guy uh, with the glasses, and he had a really, really interesting kind of opinion on the, on why the character was bad that I'd never really thought of before. I kind of always dismiss the books and the movies because it seems kind of trashy writing and, uh, you know, just doesn't seem particularly good to me and there's a hidden moral message about sex which I thought was wrong and I just, on principle, would stay away. But I recently thought about it the way he seems to be thinking about it and he kind of puts them across as there being, as it being a dangerous thing, as Bella being a dangerous character um, in a kind of <laughs> beam, like, B-movie villain damsel in distress kind of way it's in his top 10 cliche videos I will, in his video not videos, I'll put a link to it down there for you guys to read because I know, I know Raven likes Twilight I'm not sure right way if she likes Twilight or not but basically I just think if you can do that, it's right at the end, it's like his top, number one most hated cliche is damsels in distress and he uses Bella as an example and he talks about it for a while and I just think he's, he knows what he's on about and it kind of makes sense to me so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today. I've just gone over the four minute mark. I know we don't have a rule about that, but I've been trying to keep them short. Um, yeah, I hope to see Raven tomorrow and Way Monday, and I will see you guys next Friday. And uh, yeah, so enjoy that stuff. Oh, please don't be offended about the fact that I'm about Twilight again. I just really don't like it. Bye.